Hi, this is Lori. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, and give a demo also to share some exciting news. Okay, so GCC as of May 2024 version 14 supports MCDC. I mean completely. Um, I've made a couple of videos about this. What is MCDC and how to use GCOV and GCC for MCDC, but now it's like in the tool. So uh, some of what I presented in those other videos has been superseded, um, but I'm keeping them up because they're still good uh, tutorials for other things. But um, the gist of it is GCC added uh, a new compile flag. It's called condition coverage that um, when you use it, it will completely point out uh, where you are lacking in MCDC. And so um, now it's free uh, to do MCDC and there's no excuse anymore <laughs> for uh, not doing it for safety critical systems and for you know just making sure your software works. Uh, so it's free, it's there uh, for everyone to use around the world. OK, so here's the one slide that summarizes this information. If you don't want to watch the whole demo after this, I'll just I'll jump into the demo. But you know, it's all on one page. Um, as I mentioned, GCC as of May 7th, 2024, version 14 and forward, it fully supports MCDC. And in a previous video, as I said, you had to worry about if your code was tree like or non tree like in conditions. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You can code it however you want. Uh, so that's a big thing. But the big ad was this uh, condition coverage uh, flag. And what I have here on the page is, is shows how to invoke it. So you use the minus minus coverage and minus of condition coverage uh, compiler options for GCC. You run your code and then do GCOV with these flags. And what you get will be um, coverage results. Now, uh, when you run GCOV, you are looking for a thing that says condition outcomes covered 100%. If you have that, you have 100% uh, MCDC. And if you look into the um, file, the .gcov file, it will tell you, you know, if you don't have 100%, not only where the conditions are, but what conditions, like condition one, true or false, uh, and I'll give a demo of this, is it, you know, the false version is not covered. So it'll tell you exactly what tests you need. So this is great. Um, I have some links that I put on this page that I'm also putting into the description. There's a man page on this. There's many, I'm giving a, gonna give a simple example. There's many, many, many more tests and examples with loops and other examples that I have in the second link. I have links to my previous videos on this, which I said are, are still valid, but the part about non-tree-like and this uh, um, flag that was added answers the mail 100% on MCDC. So big news, um, I have to thank uh, Jorgen Kvalsvik, uh, he works for Patch, and I put his company uh, link there. You can get to him through there. He was the developer. He spent like two years developing this. And also Daryl Raines um, sponsored this for NASA. So thank you both, and on to the demo. So uh, if you watched my previous video, uh, I've got the same setup here and the same code. If you haven't, it's OK. Um, it gives much more details on unit testing and how to unit test, but this is going to focus in just on the changes um, to GCC for MCDC. OK, so the uh, function I'm checking is on the top right. It's this function called check abort. And the uh, conditions that I'm really interested in is what I have highlighted here, if B and C or A. Now, this is non-tree-like which in my previous video uh, was a no-no. You have to change these. You don't have to change them anymore. So I'm going to do the demo with this. Um, the bottom uh, right window here is the unit test code. It's a brute force unit test. Um, the key lines that I'm looking at here is where I run this checkerboard with different combinations of inputs, first with 101, 010, 011, and then I'm omitting what would be required to do MCDC, which is the last test 001 to fully test this function. Uh, on the left, I have the command line argument. So I uh, command line, I'm just going to um, execute previous commands. So the first thing I'm going to do is run is do the GCC command. So 
the key um, options here are the, the coverage and this condition coverage. This coverage, this has been there forever. Uh, this one is the new condition. So that's what you have to use. Then run your code, which I do here, and then run GCOV. So uh, when you run GCOV, you get um, this type of output. And um, this is the key addition here is this line. Uh, condition outcomes covered, 83% of six. Um, so that is the indication that you do not um, have full MCDC coverage. And note here, the uh, branches execute says 100%, which is where the tree-like, non-tree-like thing comes in. So don't worry about that. Just look at this one condition um, outcome. Now, if we um, look into the um, output of this, you can actually view um, the GCOV output to see what was not covered. So you can see, you see, you look for this conditions uh, uh, indications, and it says right there, the condition outcomes covered was five out of six, and condition zero, uh, the not covered case is false. So you need to write a test with condition zero being false. And the way they number their conditions is, you know, zero, one, Two. So you go from the left and you order each condition in the um, decision. And so, uh, in other words, in order to make this MCDC compliant, you need a test with B equal uh, to zero. So um, that's that. So if you come over here to this window, I am going to put the, a test with that in there. And then I'm going to recompile and rerun. And what you see now is taken at least once is, uh, oh, sorry, conditions covered now is 100% of six. Um, and that's what we're looking for. And um, so that's it. So pretty easy. Um, uh, as I showed previously lots of links for more details, but uh, I mean, this is a game changer for MCDC coverage. It's there, it's easy. And um, this concludes the video. Thanks.